Okay, here we go. We're going to do a experiment with steel wool and iodine. This is triple zero steel wool and uh, we're just going to pull this apart and make it loose like this. Make it nice and loose so the oxygen can get everywhere around it. Make it into a big old nest. And we've got the torch, the 9 volt battery, and this is a little bag with a tiny bottle of iodine in it. These are just little iodine prills. Uh, and you can see that this white piece of paper turned all brown because this does somehow leak out of the bottle. So I keep it in a bag. Uh, so we got this nice loose steel wool here. And I'm going to move the torch out of the way. We don't need that yet. And then just going to put a couple pieces of small little balls of iodine on top of the steel wool. One, maybe two or three, three or four, something like that. Just in a couple places. Okay, and then my assistant Matthew is going to take the battery and he's going to touch it to the steel wool. Okay, and let's watch what happens. Anywhere, just start it over here. Nine volt battery. And let's see, there should be some some orange balls of fire. Let's start propagating through. Okay, take the battery off. Let's see if it started. Let's see if we can, there we go. See those fireballs starting? They melt through the iron, and when they hit the iodine, it turns into that beautiful purple gas. Remember, don't breathe that purple gas because it's uh, it's iodine vapors. Here we go. We're getting right close to one. So look at that lovely purple iodine gas. Interestingly, wherever the iodine touches the steel wool, uh, it actually rusts, whereas the rest of it sort of just oxidizes. And you can see it takes a while for the f these fireballs to make through it, make its way through. Lost my focus there. And there's that purple iodine gas. Really quite intense. These fireballs are still spreading on the bottom there. You can see the rust developing here where the iodine was. Look at it go. It's still going crazy. There's another uh, couple iodine prills. Whew. Look at that purple gas. Remember, don't breathe it. Okay. And it's basically done. There's a couple of little spots left. And if you want, you can take your torch. You can get it lit. There we go. And you can kind of Make it go even crazier here. There's a little bit of iodine left, you can see. That's quite a quite a mess there. Pretty cool experiment you can do with simple stuff like, uh, I mean, you don't need the iodine, just the steel wool itself does this with a battery. It's a fun experiment. And there we go. Moldering steel wool with iodine.